you can play it early w- w- instead of just conceding. It's like turn three, play a guy instead of being dead. You can mm-hmm. play it in the mid game instead of doing nothing. And it's an actual card on turn nine too, right? Like it's just, yeah, every it's phase of the game, it's okay. Yeah. It fills in the gaps of whatever your draw doesn't do. Wow, that's a bummer. That was not good for our game plan. That's going to make it a lot harder to win. Yeah. Let's Stonehill a ghoul, Dan. <laughs> it's a good card, I don't, know the... I, don't, I don't know if it's that good. All right. Kill Valera. Fuck. If we killed Valera, we had a chance. Yeah. All right, there's going to be a lot of 4-4s four this game. Uh, what's your plan? I don't have one. I was trying to think which of those Stonehill cards was good against 4-4s, four and I did not come up with a good answer. There's just no... Nope. Gul'dan was like our only chance in hell. Yeah. I think we can stay in the game until we see, um, like, Valera plus Zola used together. Okay. We can just try and, like, play Taunts and Removal efficiently until then and see if it works. It's going to be a lot harder without the heal... Deal 3, heal 3... Kind of stuff going on yeah yeah i mean if you want to leave i'm down like i don't this is really not gonna go well so what do you think about siphon soul trade void walker sure I think the key right now is to play pretty quickly and not think too much. You just don't want... We're going to take an L, and we just don't want to be too drained by it. We don't have to concede. We can just, like, just do a check and see, like, do you actually run Valera? Do you actually know how Valera Zola works? Okay. Because if you do those things, we're pretty out of here. But until then, click buttons. Okay, I love the buttons. We do have three Void Lords. Ever worth it twisting here? I don't care. Whatever your first instinct tells you. We should talk about the weather or something. The weather. The weather outside is delightful. Let's Google Justine see what pops up. Delightful. I like thinking. I, do you think they're going to table more than 12? I think we can maybe exhaust the yes. hand a little bit, then play the Void Lord. Okay. Yeah, I mean, with this hand size, sure. If the hand were any bigger, I'd be pretty opposed to this, but... So what does Defile do for us? We used our Tainted Zealot, but it could be comboed with a Hellfire, and sometimes it... I think what it really does is it just cleans up after a Void Lord, right? They make a bunch of attacks into Void Lord, 1-3's attack, and then the file works. Yeah. So we don't have to worry about that being dead. Wow. Good nether. Good nether. I think I'm going to play the Void Lord now. Okay. Let's try and Gluttonous Ooze after Valyra so that hand doesn't have charge. Good idea. Ooh, if we kill this scale hide off, then she doesn't have healing, and we can start thinking about smart lines. We have no cooldown. Yeah, I mean, everything's a struggle. I'm just saying words. Getting back to the trash. Is this the second vanish? Second vanish. Okay, that makes it a lot easier to not die to prep vanish lines. So that was, uh, so there's a boar and a scale hide in hand. Right. Um, there might be a sap out there. So, my instinct is triple militia and a void walker. I do like the triple militia. We want to just make it to replay void lord into a lower thread board since we know our opponent is small hand size. I, I kind of just didn't want to find a way to lose to Sap here. 
Like this Void Lord, we always have to think about am I dying to a sap now? I'm pretty down to play the Void Lord. Yeah. Maybe Trade kill the boar, yeah. I haven't seen Firefly yet. That's pretty good for us. Firefly is pretty annoying. What are those cards? There's a boar in hand and a card that was kept off the mulligan and is being saved religiously. Potentially. She sad. didn't know what kind of warlock we were when she mulliganed. So well, that could be. You say that. I don't think. I think she's probably streaming and therefore just has no time to. No well, about what we're doing. someone in her chat might have said, oh, Firebat's playing this or whatever. Ah, oh, Control Warlock. Yeah, people do that a lot. People That's do true. that, you know? That's true. And then you see it, and you're like, I want to not use that information, but I already know it, and, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. It could be that, uh, it could be the Zola. It could be the three mana 2-2. Two -two. The, the thing that's not the Zola, the Sonya. other one. Sonya, yeah. There's a few possibilities in the mix. So we can freely draw. Yes. Um, there's no more vanishes. We're way ahead in cards and deck. Taunts are beginning to be sort of a valuable resource that we want to maybe try to conserve. We definitely want to tap, I think. Wow, that's good. That worked out nicely. Let's do that. Okay. Let's probably take out the things that generate value. So let's wait, wait, take wait. out the 4-4. Four, four. We're going to librarian <laughs> again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let's hit Excellent the panda. Theme. Yeah, the panda. <laughs> let's take out the 4-4. Four, four. Ah. I cracked myself up. Does she still have that scale hide in hand? Oh, yeah. I still think we probably just smork with these. Yeah. We could it's kill the, the Firefly. I don't hate that. But those are bad. So I do. The vanishes bad. are gone. Like, right. There's a... We have Strength and Numbers. There's a Sonya, Azola, a Valera, a Sap. Those are about the relevant cards. She's approaching the fatigue barrier. Mm -hmm. Maybe she doesn't run the death line. <laughs> Sounds so unlikely. How much charge damage is possible? There's a boar in hand. Not that much. There is two deckhands still. So two deckhands and a boar. One deckhand is like the common net deck, but I don't know if we want to put her on that. That'd be 12 damage total charge. Because both brews are gone. I want to start with tap. What if we... Are you thinking like Skulking Geist Spellstone? I was thinking like Skulking Geist Spellstone, but I wasn't... Well, I was thinking like a Defile turn this turn. Well, if we trade our 1-1 one, one and 2-2 two, two ones, then on board... We go... We're behind boop, by like two boop, guys. Defile... Dice. I don't see Defile, it's just how good is it? You get a 4-6 against nothing? Okay. What, is you, what does your heart tell you? No, no, do it, do it. Are you sure? Uh, four six just seems to trade quite reasonably. Do I play Walker? Probably. I'm not totally sure on the Walker, but man, if we had Gul'dan in this game, we would have won. Yeah. They yeah, got a lucky mill on us, man. There it is. 
All right, so now they can do 12 plus 12. Cool. We get a heal. Cool. Mm -hmm. This is probably my last game. Okay. I think it is my last game. So probably just Shroom Brewer Spellstone. Cool. Uh, I wanted militia? to just triple militia. And spellstone? No, wait, I, I'm sorry. I don't know. Trade. Actually We definitely trade. Yeah, we definitely We're trade. We kinda committed to the triple militia already. Militia is yeah, sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I after thinking about it more, I kinda wish we could. I wish uh, we had played the Yeah. I know. It's okay though. So every turn is going to be a uh, scale hide, double Sonya, or double Zola rather. Creating extra deck hands doesn't hurt us. That's very convenient that she chose deck hands, yeah. Baited. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. No Fratu and Ooze. Well, ooze doesn't matter anymore. Oh, uh, the uh, there might be still no, one. No, it still deck. matters. It still matters. Okay. What are we doing here? Define. Uh, so ooze is in... well. Okay, on board. How much stuff is there? No, we don't defile because it's defiling. We have a one three against a four two right now. There's like nothing on board for us to defile. Okay. If you just make attacks. So um, what's important, I think, is gluttonous ooze and seven mana, which is probably shroom brewer known for Atu. And we heal our guy, probably. Yeah, that sounds sweet. Oh, we got so this all. We're gonna win. And We're gonna we win heal up the 4 2. Yep. Yeah. And take the trade into the 4 that 4. That far left card, Sonya. Yeah. And then we're okay. Yeah. We're gonna win. Valera and Solo were the two key cards. This is probably a Sonya turn, because we gave stuff to trade. Yeah, far left Sonya here. We did give Sonya kind of a lot of value this turn with our play. So maybe there's a smarter way to play around that. Not playing Shroom Brewer and suiciding off the 4 2. We have two board resets, and then we also have Godfrey, which might be able to board reset. Another Hellfire. She left the scale hide in play and picked up a deck hand. Seems like that was done the wrong way. Could have picked up another scale hide instead of a deck hand. Okay, so Spellstone the 4 4. The left 4 4. six cards to her one. I want to tap. What's her remaining cards? That's a good question. There's um, there's, there's a deck hand, a scale hide, a boar, and a prep. And then one other card. Probably a sap. Probably a sap. Can... So the reload is deck hand, scale hide, Four. So there's a charger, a rusher, and a do nothing. I kind of want to just. I still like, want to tap. Are we gonna? There's a void lord in our deck. I'd like to. I guess that doesn't actually help because there's the thing. But there's got to be cards that are better than two life, right? Yeah, let's spell stone first. That seems important. <laughs> Darn. Oh. <laughs> so it could have been a 4-4 four, four squirrel instead. Yeah, or we could have gotten a 4-4 four, four, or 5-5. Five, five. No. Yeah, yeah. No chargey. Why would she duplicate that one? Oh, because she's not playing the other ones. It is true. She yeah, does. she's going to space them out, right? Yeah. So maybe this is a defile turn. Does that work? Not quite. Well, it does if we play the beetle, right? <sighs> uh, we could trade everything, play the beetle in defile. So she's got how many minions left? Three? 
There's a charger, a rusher, a prep, and a sap. So two? So the, sap, the prep does nothing yet, just two. Okay, so defiled's good enough. We could beat two minions. Yeah, yeah, we, we just, yeah. We're twisting another one wave and we hellfire defile another. Exactly. Or double hellfire another. Literally, we have all the answers for all the minions. Yeah, so we're done tapping. Yeah, we just, I was very really skeptical about the first tap. If... Well, I thought that the first tap was like very clearly good. So what's Ooh. in our deck? Dude, we beat Shadowwalk Shaman and Quest Rogue, and we yeah. got our Death Knight milled against us. Well, yeah. Hashtag Control Warlock meta, bringing it back, Fire Bat. Bringing it back. Thing. Just crushing Shadowwalks and Quest Rogues. What up? You gonna keep streaming? Cause I'm quitting. It's time for me to host somebody. No, oh, no. I got top 200. It's been about 12 hours in front of the computer now. Yeah. I'm time. so, so tired. All right. Thanks everybody who watched and hung out with us is this was a wonderful day I, I had a 13 hour stream and it did not feel like it you know it just right. felt good got a lot of work done that was really good <sighs> i so made rice crispy treats i got work done you know what's better than that mm -hmm. sat here and talked to my friends for 13 hours yeah, <laughs> barely man. played any actual hours <laughs> ah, good day, good day. if you're if you ever if you're in michigan tomorrow man we could use you on oh, the yeah. trivia team dude i'll for sure think about it maybe i'll book a flight tonight all right cool <laughs> all right anyway thanks everybody for hanging out especially all of the guests including zelay admirable purple gallon you know all the great guys you're gaming today i think most of us climbed into top 200 today from outside of that uh, not zelay he's at 250 but <laughs> yeah. yeah it's pretty sweet so let's try and find somebody to host. Probably going to be a lot shorter of a stream tomorrow. Today was a really long one. I usually don't try and stream super long streams because they kind of exhaust me. But um, I usually keep it around like three, four hours. I went on vacation this month though, so I'll be kind of making up hours a little bit. Felt good to play a bunch today. I think we were winning. Winning always feels good. We were winning with a cool new deck too. That's always the best part. We were able to make something new and have it work well it's not new really it's an old deck but we kind of like reinventing it for the metagame tank master shouldn't be in it if you got a tank master and you should probably take it out so he was kind of memeing and i just kind of left it in there you know why not right um, i've been hosting kibler every day for a month so i was going to try and host someone not kibler but i don't really know anybody else i think maybe i should talk to more streamers Let's sell this green sheep. Green sheep's pretty cool. The UK guy. Looks Asian. Talks like UK guy. Really nice. Really nice guy. One time I was at a LAN with him and I got really, really sick and I didn't speak the language in the country or understand how the healthcare system worked there. And he helped me go to a hospital. He's a really cool dude. All around nice person. So, he deserves a host. Make sure you go say hi to Green Sheep. He's been doing really well and competitive lately. Glad to see him start streaming. Anyway, thanks everybody for tuning in, and enjoy some Green Sheep.